Hello air signs and welcome to my channel. I'm doing something a little bit different this time. Um, I'm going to do a three pile um, reading. You pick which pile you're drawn to um, and that'll be your situation coming for you in the next week or um, what you're currently dealing with. Um, if you want, you can wait until all the cards are flipped and decide what situation works or fits you better. But um, often I think your intuition will guide you to which pile is meant for you. In so let's get started. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for air signs? Please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the week of the 8th through the 15th. Three piles, please. Three situations. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oops. Okay, so the first group is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. The second card is the ice queen, ideas preserved, non-action, and entitlement. The six of swords, the hermit, and the wheel both came out here. So um, you guys are deciding to move on this week. You're moving forward. Um, you've, you're coming out of a situation that was very emotionally scarring. Um, you're kind of leaving with your bags packed and taking your baggage with you. Um, but spirit is encouraging you just to not act so quick, not act so fast. Um, non-action is um, being called for you this week. Um, yeah, go within with this hermit, take a step back because there might be another person in this situation. You're not, you don't know all of the details with this person that you're considering moving forward with, even though they have uh, stirred your romantic feelings and it is worth exploring. Don't be so quick to jump right into a relationship with them. Take the time because they could be in a relationship with someone else. And um, this relationship is going to come to fruition anyway. So do it in the right time. Do it um, in the right way um, because they have to end their karma before they can come into a situation with you. So spirit is encouraging you to not take action at this moment. Do not jump into a relationship with them. Um, take the time while you are single and, uh, and just concentrate on yourself while they end their situation that they have going on. The second group of you make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. The Hawk Prince, spirit communication and paying attention. The Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Swords. So um, you guys have been working very hard. Um, you guys have been trying to heal um, you guys are working hard to get out of a situation with somebody, somebody in your, um, in your immediate space could be acting very cold to you, very distant. Um, and you're just work, you're putting that behind you could be the ending of a relationship as well. Um, but this kind of turned your whole world upside down and now you're just working hard on getting things put back together. You guys are really, um, really in your head about someone you have connected with sexually um, and you're not sure if they're still wanting to be with you. You're not sure if they want to continue a relationship with you, but, um, spirit is sending you guys, uh, signs, synchronicities. They're telling you where to go, what to do with the Hawk Prince. So pay attention. Also send your prayers up to, the, up to the universe. Let them guide you and move you. 
because um, this this love is worth sticking around for. This love is worth making the effort for. You have to uh, you have to trust in your journey, trust in the universe, but most importantly, watch for your omens, your synchronicities, because the universe is trying to guide you in the right direction. Don't get caught up in your head about the sexual connection with this or what could go wrong or what's going to happen next. Um, continue just to work on yourself and to um, put behind you people that do not support your path. This last group of you, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. The arrow master, detachment, hitting the mark, and intention. The four of wands. The Fool and the Ace of Swords. Wow, guys. This last group of you. It's time to clear your energy. Clear your space. Release all that you are holding on to. Release anything that isn't holding on to you. Cut your karmic cords, ties, bonds. Release that X. Let them go. Because it's time to set your intention. It's time to detach from a situation that is no longer serving you. It's time to detach from an X. It's time to... Set your intention and send that intention up to the universe and the universe will, they'll catch that arrow. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Leo or Aries, but doesn't have to be. But whatever it is, it's time to set your intention because new beginnings are here. New starts are at your feet. It's time to take a leap of faith and you're going to do it with a clear mind, clear thought. Uh, you're going to hit the mark. You guys are going to um, take that leap of faith and it's the right leap because it's going to end in a four of wands um, relationship with a stable foundation, a beautiful um, start from with a clear, with truth and clarity. Um, it's just time to set those intentions and leave your ex in the past. Cut those ties and bonds because your new beginning is here. It's calling for you to take a leap of faith. And when you do, if you do, this is what's promised you. Twin flame, soulmate, um, or life partner. This some, this person is someone you will spend forever with. Um, as in, in this lifetime. For some of you, forever in this lifetime and many to come. So um, go ahead and take that leap, Air Science. It's here for you. To recap, um, this group of you, your romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. You will be moving forward to this person, but hold off. Don't make any rash decisions. Don't jump into a relationship too fast because they're dealing with karma right now. They're in another relationship. So let them end that relationship. Take this time to be in the hermit and um, focus on yourself. And in the next turn of the karmic wheel, this relationship will come into fruition. The second group of you, make the effort. Send your prayers up to the universe. Pay attention for synchronicities, omens. The universe is talking to you. Keep working hard and try not to get caught up in your head because this relationship is going to work out. And this last one, clear your energy, clear, cut off all people from your past, cut those ties, set your intention, detach from the past, start that new journey, take that leap of faith, and you will end up in the relationship of a lifetime. So Air Signs, I hope you enjoyed this week's um, pick pick your situation. Um, all three of you guys or all three of these groups have amazing energy. So enjoy the week. And as always, God bless.